So self-esteem is a child's uh, a child's feeling of self-worth. It's how they see themselves in the world and that they know that they're valued and that they're important. And that's different from them feeling vain or conceited. It's just uh, a way that they feel secure and important and valued uh, both at home and also as they go about, uh, about themselves in the world. And self-esteem is not something that, that babies are born with naturally. It has to develop over time. And, and uh, you as a parent play a critical role in helping to develop your child's self-esteem. If you want your child to have really positive uh, mental health at home, one of the things is providing them with a very positive environment. Babies, children, nine months or a year of age can detect stress in the mother. And teenagers especially, if in the home environment parents are arguing, or parents are showing signs that they're stressed or there's significant conflict at home or there's discuss discussion of matters that can lead to worries for a child. For example, if mom and dad are arguing about finances at home or if mom and dad are talking about how they're not getting along, that's very stressful for a child or a teen. A lot of people forget that what they say to the child, uh, what kind of uh, support they have in the home surroundings so it has really huge impact on uh, what a child's mental health is like. Children are always developing new skills as they grow older and it's important for you as a parent to recognize those achievements and celebrate those achievements with your child and to praise them as they learn how to sit, as they learn how to walk, as they learn to swim across the swimming pool. Uh, these are all big milestones for your child and as a parent it's important to recognize those and to celebrate those and th those will only help to promote positive and healthy self-esteem. Low self-esteem can manifest itself differently in different children and that can pose a real challenge for parents. Um, sometimes children with low self-esteem can have symptoms that are, are very obvious, like a child who has temper tantrums all the time or a child who's crying all the time. But other times children with low self-esteem have symptoms that aren't so obvious, uh, like a child that might have unexplained headaches or unexplained belly pain, uh, or a child who just doesn't want to participate in their activities in the way that they, are, that they normally would. People wonder why the child feels stressed or anxious at times. They don't really understand it. They say, why does he or she seem so stressed? Well, I can tell you that one thing I want you to start thinking about is, first of all, what is her schedule like? What are the things that are important to her? And what are the things that are important to you? And to see if when you guys discuss these things, they actually match up a little bit. Uh, a great chance to talk about, uh, for children to talk about their feelings is at the family dinner table. Um, another great time is bedtime when you're tucking your child in. Uh, those are great family moments where children may open up and talk about some of their fears and worries and anxieties. And I would always say if, if ever you're worried about your child's self-esteem or about their mental health, it would be never wrong to talk to your physician or your pediatrician or to a mental health professional. Thank you.